Welcome everyone to our prayer journey, daily devotional with Mike Toth. There is nothing better than reading a story of a man who was a sinner, doesn't matter what his sin was, or a woman, and they came to Christ and Christ saved them from their sin and took away the bondage that they were under. Any of us who have gotten saved have had that happen to us. Yeah, we'll struggle with sin from time to time, but God has taken from us the burdens of sin, the dominion that sin has over us. Now, the particular story I was reading of this man who got saved, uh, he got saved from chapter 7 of Romans, and I chose two of the verses from here that I read after reading the story about this man who got saved. And here in verse 7, verse, chapter 7, verse 1, it says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, and we all know there is law, how that the law had dominion over a man. So law has dominion over man. The law of God has a dominion over the man, and the law of government has dominion over the man. And it, as Christians, we are not to be insurrectionists or disrespectful to government. We should hold our line and be as Christ-like as possible to break down the barriers between us and them. So the law has dominion over man only this far, as long as he liveth. You see, when you die, the government has no more power over you. They lost it. Now, I don't know when went through the mind of this individual that got saved, but I know the Holy Spirit used this to speak to him. And as I read through Romans 7 here, I see the same thing. I can understand how God can reach down and change a heart. In verse 4 it says, Wherefore, my brethren, ye also become dead to the law by the body of Christ. You see, when you accept Jesus Christ, you are dead to the law. You are no longer in bondage to the law. You know, my pastor was pointing out that a lot of people pray for uh, the ability to overcome or to have victory over sin. And the fact is, we really have victory over sin already if we are saved. We keep the chains on. You see, he points out this way. There was disunion. And God, through Jesus Christ, made union. If you trusted Jesus Christ, you have union with God. And then the Lord's Supper, prayer, you commune with God. And I have found this to be true. Yeah, did I get rid of every sin in my life? No. But would I have lessened them? Every time they are lessened, it is not something I'm doing. I'm not pruning away my sin. No, what I am doing is getting closer to God and he reveals it and takes away the temptations. And I believe that this is what happened with this man. And listen to what it says here now. All right. So we're dead to the world by the body of Christ that we should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto God. You see, when we have communion with God, when we is a resurrected from the dead, the Lord is dead to us. We don't have to go back and try it. You know, if you've gone to museums where they have the shackles from slavery, uh, either long ago slavery or slavery in the United States, you wouldn't want to put those chains on you and see what it's like. In fact, the other day, I had to cut a piece of metal chain link to get something off. And it took me a good half an hour with a hacksaw to get it because I could not keep the chain straight. It is a difficult thing. There's no reason when we're dead to the law for the law to have dominion over us. I hope you can see that in this here. So let's not pray 
for deliverance from sin. Let's pray to God. Commune with God. Make sure you know him. If you're not sure, check out in this video, the description. It'll tell you how you can get saved for sure. Stay with our videos and you'll understand more and more about Jesus Christ. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.